Welcome to Your Health. Information about today's top health topics direct from Brigham and Women's Hospital experts. We want to remind you that this information should not replace the advice or recommendations from your health care provider. I'm Joanne Foody. I'm a cardiologist at Brigham and Women's Hospital and director of the Cardiovascular Wellness Center. Today we're going to talk about ways to prevent a heart attack. In fact, the power to prevent a heart attack lies with you. We can reduce many risk factors for heart disease and ultimately can reduce your risk of a heart attack or stroke. For those of you who do smoke, the most important thing you can do for your overall health and your heart health specifically is to stop smoking. Stopping smoking can have immediate effects on your health and can very quickly reduce your risk of a heart attack. This is the number one thing you can do for your health, not only your own personal health, but the health of your family as well. Another important way that you can prevent a heart attack is to modify your diet. We know that a diet that is low in saturated fats, that has increased fiber, increased fruits and vegetables, as well as increased intake of fish, can significantly reduce your risk of a heart attack. We know that exercise and maintaining a healthy weight are two important ways to prevent heart disease. First of all, we know that exercise, about 30 minutes a day, can improve your heart function, can make you feel better, and ultimately reduce your long-term risk of a heart attack. We also know that maintaining a healthy weight can, again, improve your well-being and reduce your risk of a heart attack. Part of preventing heart disease means knowing your numbers, and the important numbers that you need to know are your cholesterol numbers and your blood pressure numbers. We know that maintaining cholesterol in an optimal range or having it treated if you do have high cholesterol can dramatically reduce your risk of heart attacks. Similarly, maintaining blood pressure in an optimal range or treating it to targets can significantly reduce your risk of not only heart attack but also stroke. So it's important first to know your cholesterol and blood pressure numbers, to seek medical attention to have those treated if appropriate, and ultimately managing both of these risk factors will significantly reduce your risk of a heart attack in the future. Obesity is a significant risk factor for heart disease and many other medical conditions, but importantly, obesity also causes diabetes. Diabetes is one of the most important risk factors for heart disease and heart attack. It's essential that people are screened for diabetes, and if they do have diabetes, that their diabetes and their glucose levels are treated aggressively. We also know that diabetics need to have much more aggressive management for risk factors, including their cholesterol and their blood pressure. So if you're diabetic, it's important to take care of the global risk factors you have for heart disease in the hopes of preventing a heart attack. Unfortunately, in diabetes, the most common cause of death is a heart attack. So it's even more important to address risk factors in an effort to prevent this. We have excellent therapies that can prevent a heart attack. One such therapy is something as simple as an aspirin. We know that in individuals with heart disease or at high risk for heart disease, that something as simple as a baby aspirin a day can prevent heart attacks. We know that in men over the age of 50, that aspirin is an important preventive treatment for heart attacks. Unfortunately, we don't have the same kind of information for women, but we do know overall if you're at high risk, aspirin may be beneficial. Of course, like any healthcare decision, it's important to discuss whether aspirin is right for you with your healthcare provider. We have a tremendous opportunity to prevent heart disease. The first step in preventing heart disease begins with you, in knowing your risk factors and adopting a healthy lifestyle in an effort to prevent heart attack and stroke. Thanks for watching Your Health from Brigham and Women's Hospital. A reminder, Your Health is intended for educational purposes only. 
It should not take the place of advice or recommendations from your health care provider. If you have questions about what you've heard, please consult with your doctor.